So I performed a little experiment this weekend and I went out onto the streets of Hermosa Beach in California. Hermosa Beach. And I asked people who they think is responsible for the obesity epidemic in the United States. Is it the individual, industry, or the government? And I got a pretty unanimous response. The individual. Individual. The individual. The individual. The individual. Now this response really scared me because it demonstrates a lack of awareness in the huge role that both industry and the government play in the way that we as Americans consume food. So let's take a look at some of their responses and the facts. The, in, uh, the individual, uh, without a doubt in my mind, because we make choices. Mm -hmm. And so I don't think that a commercial makes you obese, and I don't think the government makes you obese. Mm -hmm. I think you make you obese. People realize how easy it is to eat healthy rather than just buying something processed and packaged. You got to read the label. In the US. Kids off their fat asses. Parents. And it's, uh, they're just fucking lazy. Sorry, they're lazy. <laughs> Kids are lazy as hell these days. I don't think the government has really a say in, in health choices. Not the government. They have enough problems without uh, getting involved in obesity. Totally, the end. I mean, big on personal responsibility. I think it's, uh, you know, the government's no role is not to teach us how to eat. Individual. I think people are lazy sometimes and don't enjoy life. They just need to get out. They would feel so much better. People wouldn't be depressed. Well, actually, it's come together, you know, because if you take on this call, they give you pizza, and there's the government, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. They'll give you help. And then sometimes people uh, is rushing work, mm -hmm. school, mm -hmm. and it's more easy has to buy food. Mm -hmm. You know, McDonald's, uh, Burger King, mm -hmm. all those things. You know, it's ball ball. You know? mm -hmm. So they think it's like if they they need to think a little bit more about the kids, mm -hmm. not on the what's going on in the life. So the government needs to take care of the kids. Yeah. Yeah. Correct. Actually, they need to do a little bit more programs, you know, or like something. Uh, it's more on the TV. It's like you saw like three or four commercials mm -hmm. for fast food. Mm -hmm. For healthy food, it's like two or one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they need to do like more programs for that. Thing. More regulation. Yeah. And probably they need to pass for this school too. All right, so from the Canadian perspective, how do you think we as Americans can solve the obesity epidemic in our country? Education, people need to uh, uh, make the right choices. She should limit some of the availability of some of the bad pop. Tax it, make it expensive, don't make pop cheap, make milk cheap. Mm -hmm. And that's, uh, I guess, uh, an example of doing that across the board. So mm -hmm. Industry. Mm -hmm. Industry should be accountable. because They're profiting from it. The government is, uh, needs to control the industry. The industry is controlling the government probably too much ability to market, especially to young kids who really don't have the 
discretion to make choices. I mean, I think government can help with programs because we buy a lot of food from um, farmers that is sort of surplus, if you will, and then we utilize that for kids' lunches. That's really not a good thing, so there's a lot of processed corn, really, in everything that we eat. I think it was more of our government allowing such things to be put into this food, like trans fats, and they know fat is good for you to go even more and allow something so bad you put on the shelf. I think that really has to do with the government. States. You just gotta eat carrots, man. <laughs> in these inner city areas, which for the most part, the majority of the population, they don't necessarily have access to uh, recreational opportunities. They don't have adequate fields. Their schools don't necessarily have sports teams where they can participate in because uh, they, they clearly just lack the funding. So to say that, well, kids need to get off their butts or their parents need to get them in the shape, well, that's kind of a pop out in my opinion because one, the parents probably are working two jobs, don't have a car, and have to commute all day, so when they only have an hour before they have to go to sleep to wake up at 5 a.m., 4 a.m. the next morning, where, where do they find time to go exercise? Or where do they find time to feed their kids like a home cooked meal? What, what private companies come to these neighborhoods? It's fast food. That's, that's where they have the most access to. And who kind of supports the fast food industry? Well, the government does. You know, subsidies for corn and things like that. So I think everyone, for the most part, is to blame. And it just needs to be restructured in order to operate efficiently and provide people with opportunities to be healthy.